ever since Kev returned and Crusher left, the Elite has fallen apart. So now it is just me and the K-Bar left. But K-Bar cannot cut the chili peppers. So I flow the coop and I'm vamoosing solo. When one rain on terror ends, another begins. The rain of Raul has returned. Where I belong, back in the stage, the matador, back in the ring. Salute. More tequilas. More tequilas. Welcome to Slam National Wrestling, folks. And as you just heard, Raul Chouard confirmed it. The Elite are officially over. And it's all thanks to Kev Roberts, returning to SMW on the last show to challenge the Elite. And things between Kev and the Elite soon turned into mayhem and chaos, but Kev prevailed in the end. And as a result of that, Crusher has quit SMW, and he's taken the title with him. But as for Kev, well, whether his return was a one-off or not, still remains to be seen. But folks, only time will tell. And right now, we've got a show to get on with. And what a huge main event we have in store. It's the Battle of the Monsters, the Clash of the Titans, the Destroyer of Souls Nightmare versus the Big Mammoth Fleet Fury. And what a huge match that's going to be. But before we get on with that, Bill Cord is standing by, awaiting the debut of Daisy Chain. Well, she should be appearing pretty soon, much by now. Yeah, well, Hi guys, I'm Daisy Chain. Welcome. Nice to meet you, Daisy Chain. Welcome to the team. Yeah, welcome to SNW. I'm sure you'll have a great time with us. Okay, is there anyone for my dad? Uh, he's the chap you want to speak to. I'll take care of that. Well, there you have it, folks. It's Daisy Chain. SNW's first ever slam girl has arrived on the scene. And I'm sure Bill Corb will show her the ropes. And I can't wait to see what Daisy Chain gets up to in Slam National Wrestling. How exciting! But, folks, with good news, there comes bad news. A couple of shows ago, when Pablo Pella got dropped headfirst onto the steel chair, the injury he sustained was more serious than we thought possible. With severe neck damage, Pella will be on the sidelines for quite some time, which brings the horrible news that he must vacate the midway title. And it's a huge shame this ever happened to such a rising star like Pella, but with the midway title now vacant, I'm sure there will be a lot of people gunning for a chance to win it. What did I say, folks? What did I say? I said that I was going to end PKG, and that's exactly what I did. Now I hear that poor PKG has gone and got himself a little concussion. He's gone and gone up back to Glasgow with his stupid girlfriend that's old enough to be his mother. And he's going to get himself all fat again, isn't he? He's going to get all obese like he was when he was Mr. Insano. <laughs> But I don't care about that. The only thing I care about now is the fact that Pablo Polo is injured. And now his midway championship is now vacant. But not for long, folks. Not for long. Because I, the greatest acquisition that this company has ever had, is going to become the greatest midway champion that this company has ever had. Just like with PKG. Mark my words. Mark my words. Well, there you heard it, folks. Strong words from Alex Hart. Alex Hart, he's got his sights set on that Midway Championship title. And, folks, I've just received word from Bill Cord himself that Nightmare, a former Midway Champion, has been officially declared a number one contender for the Midway title. So in the future, we're looking at Nightmare potentially facing Alex Hart for that vacant Midway Championship title. And speaking of Nightmare, folks, it is main event time right now, because here comes Nightmare, here comes the Destroyer of Souls, the number one contender for the Midway title, a former Midway Champion, this guy's an absolute beast. Also, Nightmare is the reason Bleak Fury was eliminated from the 2011 Battle Royal. So there's a big, big grudge to be settled right now between these huge giants. Folks, here comes the biggest mammoth in SNW history. This guy's absolutely huge. It is scary. Here comes 
Blake Fury. And ladies and gentlemen, Blake Fury, he brings the pain. We saw his debut match against Crazy John a few shows ago. Absolutely destructive. And this is going to be one huge match. Look at this giant. It's going to be Clash of the Titans. The biggest beast in SMW about to lock horns right now. I mean, you're in for a treat, folks. This is going to be one slobber knocker of a match. And Nightmare staring a hole into Blake Fury. And they lock up! And Blake Fury overpowered Nightmare into that corner. Such fury. Nightmare shoving Blake Fury away. He didn't like that. And now these monsters stare each other down. And here is the second lockup. And Nightmare overpowering Blake Fury into that corner. Giving him a taste of his own medicine. But Blake Fury shoves Nightmare away. And now we've got a stalemate. But not for long as they lock up for a third time. Oh, and they both break it. And Nightmare was shot to the head. And Blake Fury smacking Nightmare back. And we've got a slugfest unfolding before our very eyes. And Blake Fury with a swipe at Nightmare Ducks. And now Nightmare is laying into Blake Fury in that corner. And Nightmare in a zombie spasm as he builds up a rage. And he goes charging, but Blake Fury stops him in his tracks. Oh, and a huge chop to the black heart of Nightmare. Now Blake Fury set up for another one. Oh, that's got a sting. And now Blake Fury looks like he's going for a third chop. But Nightmare grabs him by the throat. And Blake Fury goozles Nightmare by the throat. Oh, and they both block it. And Nightmare follows up with a big boot. Nightmare is in control now. He's trying to round Blake's head into that turnbuckle. But Blake Fury blocks it. Oh. And Blake Fury rams Nightmare's head into that turnbuckle. Oh. And Blake Fury just decks Nightmare with that huge clothesline. Blake Fury, the big mammoth, taking down the zombie with that huge clothesline. And now he's pinning Nightmare. There's a two count. But Nightmare kicking out. That turnbuckle and clothesline shot really scrambled Nightmare's rotten brains. And now Blake Fury is on the prowl. But Nightmare fighting from his feet with everything he's got. But Blake Fury just cutting Nightmare down to size. And now Blake Fury's picking Nightmare up. And is he going to scoop down the big zombie? Oh, wait a second. Nightmare staggers to his feet. And oh, Blake Fury runs to the big boot right to the face. And oh, look at this. A huge clothesline by Nightmare knocking Blake Fury down. Nightmare making a comeback. Nightmare decking Blake Fury with that clothesline. Blake Fury the big mammoth. And look at this! Nightmare leaving his feet with that flying shoulder block. We've never seen Nightmare do anything like that before. And could this get the win? Oh, just the two count. Nightmare really pulling out all the stops here. Trying to make a comeback against the big mammoth. And look at this! Nightmare hitting the ropes for a big splash. Oh, but Blake Fury wisely manages to dodge that big attack. He could have been crushed like a pancake. But what's going to happen now? They're both to their feet. Whoa, Blake Fury with a clothesline, but Nightmare ducks. Oh my god! Nightmare just flying Blake Fury with a crossbody! Is it going to get the win? Oh no! Blake Fury kicking out. Oh my god! The huge zombie Nightmare just cut in. Blake Fury off with that huge crossbody. And now a trick slam is looming in the air. Nightmare going in for the kill. He's got Blake Fury by the throat. Can he do it? Oh my god! He just chokes out Blake Fury! All over now. Here's the one, two. Oh my god! How did Blake Fury kick out that choke slam? And what's even scary is that Nightmare even got him up for a choke slam. But now, Nightmare is signaling for the end. Here comes a Nightmare knockout. And, oh, he's got Blake Fury up for a Nightmare knockout, but Blake Fury's elbowing out. And now, Blake Fury shoving Nightmare head first in that turnbuckle. Here comes a big boot, but Nightmare catches it. And now Nightmare's in control as he smacks Blake Fury in the stomach. Ah, Blake Fury with an end to Gary! Oh my god! How did he do that? It's all over, it's gotta be over! Oh! Nightmare just kicked out of the end to Gary! Oh my god, how impressive was that? Blake Fury, with an act of desperation, pull out all the stops to put the big monster down! And, but here comes the trick slam! If it connects, it's all over! Oh my god! Blake Fury trick slamming Nightmare! Nobody's manhandled Nightmare like that before! And there's the two, and there's the three count. It's all over. And my god, I can't believe what we just witnessed. Blake Fury just defeated a former and possibly future midway champion in Nightmare. Blake Fury came, and he brought the pain. And what a huge victory for Blake Fury after such an intense match. And folks, I can't believe what we've just witnessed. This has been absolutely insane. And as we look back at the highlights, look at this crossbody just squashing Blake Fury. And look at the strength of Nightmare. Who knew Blake Fury could be slammed? But even more impressive, who knew Blake Fury could hit an Enziguri? And of course, the Enziguri and Choke Slam just finished Nightmare off. Ladies and gentlemen, what a huge main event match that was. Absolutely amazing. 
and with a huge victory over the midway no more contender, surely Blake Fury will be boosted into the higher rankings of SMW. But it looks like we'll just have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Slam National Wrestling. And folks, I just received some huge news concerning Kev Roberts. It looks like... An early race of champions at the top. An entire year of domination and control. One master plan to rule SNW. But in just one instance, it all comes crumbling down. Future's eyes now opening. Solar eclipse taking place from the deepest regions of your mind and soul. His glory come, his kingdom rise, this world will burn.